Basically, we're just going to take one of the forks, take the fork, scoop up one of the seedlings, and just drop it right into the water. Take it all around, we're going to rinse off the dirt, and then transplant it. So the cactus yeah. mostly rinsed off. Let's see. The cactus, they're a little pink. And they're underneath the water. So what we're going to do is, gently using the chopsticks, we're going to pick them up, rinse them off, and then transplant them into our soil. But to give you guys also a better look at them, I'm take them from the dirty water into the clean water. And a couple of them here. It's hard to do this while you're watching the camera too. But it should give you a better view of them. So I'm going to do that for you all. So it's all going to be interesting to see what they look like. I'm going to get them completely washed off. There's one lurking in the corner. Where did I see you? Okay. The little ones. That's yeah, interesting. As you can see, some of them sink to the bottom of the water. But some of them are also floating up near the top, what it was. It might be the soil that's weighting them down. Yeah, that one's definitely a floater. Okay, enough dicking around with that. Let's get them planted. Uh, it helps if you pre-make your holes, so I'm going to go with a pretty good size hole there. I'm going to try some of the clusters. So I can either run the camera or operate the chopsticks, but not both at the same time. So here's our cluster. Going into our pre-made hole, drop that in there, and then kind of poke it around. The chopsticks. A lot of detail work in cactus. You'd think that they're kind of hardy, and you throw them out in the sun, and they just do their thing, but a lot of detail and precision work. So that's how we transplant the cactus. The chopsticks.